Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your Wednesday, December 12th, 2018 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, your guys' first card out is Strength in Reverse. Um, fearing moving forward, fearing facing troubles head on. Your next card out is the fool, however. So, um, wow, positive. Setting out on a new journey. Letting go of the fear in regards to somebody you love. The person you are dealing with oh, is the four of swords. So they're needing some healing. They're taking a rest, a break, a time out. Thank you. <clears throat> they have some heartache that they are getting over surrounding um, you, Earth sign. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign, very possibly. What's the outcome for our Earth signs for Wednesday the 12th? What do they need to know? Okay. I didn't think they were ever going to fall out there. Okay. You guys' outcome is the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, and the Tower in Reverse. So, um, Fire Signs had that in their, um, in you, in the, their person they're dealing with reading. So you might want to watch that if you're connected. Um, the bottom of your deck is the Page of Cups. Clarified by Justice and the Eight of Cups. Your action card below that is making decisions, making choices, moving, making action, cutting away from um, the bullshit, making choices on where to go from here, um, following your heart towards your soulmate, and letting go of burdens that you're dealing with currently. Ten of Cups was um, under that as well. Okay, so your guys' overall theme of your reading today or your central issue is the Page of Cups. Who to offer your love to, who to move forward with. You see there's three people there. Um, two are thirsty for the cup and one is drinking it all. So um, you are deciding where to put your energy, who to offer your cup to. Um, and I do see you moving in a more spiritual path. You're moving towards the person that you're more spiritually connected to. You are setting out on this journey, even though you don't know where you're going, what you're going to do, or how you're going to make it. You're you're handing it over to God. You are you are um, having faith in the fact that if you move in this journey, in this path, that that Source will take care of the details, and that is perfectly exactly right. Um, you are going to. Um, balance out the scales as far as the justice system goes you are leaving a marriage or a commitment this could also be leaving a commitment or a contract through a job because you're going to be moving locations because you are moving here um you will come out just fine if this is a divorce you, the, everything will be split fairly and balanced and you will then not have to split your energy much longer um let me get some clarifiers here. Ooh. All right. So you guys, uh, you were lacking strength, having fear of moving forward in the future with your soulmate. One, the seven card to me is always soulmate. Um, even though they looked fantastic, it, they looked very good alluring, you know, the relationship looked good. You still had a lot of fear of leaving behind something of the future. You were very confused on what steps to take, um, next to come into, uh, a union with this person, but more, more importantly, how to get out of the situation you are currently in without hurting as, you know, the least amount of people as you possibly could. Um, you do have the fool with the knight of wands. So you are going to take a leap of faith with this person, heavy Aries energy here or Sagittarius, but, um, could be Leo as well. You are setting out on a new journey and moving towards this fire sign, um, with 
the Knight of Wands very quickly, very passionately, kind of without thinking. It's kind of like you're going to jump before before you look or you think or you might uh, be too scared to do it. Um, with the Lover's card here in your guys' position as well, it's being clarified with the Sun and Temperance. So your path is being illuminated on which person to pick, on where to go from here, um, what choice that you have to make. Uh, things are being illuminated and uh, you're being directed in the right path. You are currently self-healing, um, trying to bring your life back into balance. could be uh, connected with a Leo or a Sagittarius um, as your choices, or this could be happening in the time of Sagittarius as we are right now. But most importantly, it's just you um, being able to balance out your emotions and figure out what it is that you want to do and where you want to go from here. The person that you're dealing with is the Four of Swords. So lots of healing um, is needed for this person. There's a lot of hurt in the past uh, centered around this relationship as well. Yeah, you do have... a. They do have a new beginning with you. They do want to start something new with you, but um, healing is needed first. They are currently, um, you could not be speaking to this person as well uh, because they're taking a pause. They're taking a step back and reevaluating what, where they want their new beginning to be at, where they want this to go from here as well because there was a lot of hurt. They are mourning the loss of this relationship, um, the loss of you, the loss of contact, Whatever it is that um, that was taken away from them is still affecting their emotional well-being. Even though they think of you as their soulmate, they think that this relationship was very out of balance, very unjust. They were treated unfairly. Um, what happened to them was not uh, was not fair to them. They were putting more into this relationship than possibly what you were. It can be vice versa, but somebody was putting more into the relationship than the other, and they really felt like um, this. it was just unfair to them. They also have the King of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Wands, so they are very stable, very grounded. They have um, what appears to be you know, their life in good order, but they have a lot of internal conflict about you, Earth sign, because uh, there was a lot of bickering between the two of you, a lot of back and forth arguing and now it, they're going back and forth in their um in their thoughts whether or not they want to um, give this another chance whether they want to try this again because for some of you this is you know the second third fourth time that you have been trying to get this to work but until you're both healed and balanced uh you're going to continue to deflect each other um until you you are at a balanced energy until your vibrations are as high as they can be and you're um, directly reflecting that to each other. Your guys' outcome card is the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, and the Tower in Reverse. So um, you're both at a crossroads here deciding where it is that you want to go, who do you want to um, commit to, who do you want to walk this path with. You have now made up your mind with the Eight of Cups. You are moving out of the current situation you're in and into a more balanced relationship you hope with the person you are moving towards, um, which possibly could be a air sign, or no, fire sign. We got Sagittarius, Leo, Justice. We got Libra. Yeah, that's about all I see here. Scorpio. So, uh, oops. Yeah, the Nine of Swords is clarifying your guys' Two of Wands. So, you or the person you're dealing with is having a lot of anxiety about which direction to go to and which path to pick. Um, they want the path of least hurting, whether this is you or them. So, they, they've lost a lot of sleep over this. They're really confused about whether or not to allow this to move forward again or... Um, if they should untie themselves and move in their own direction uh, because they are feeling very torn right now, very, um, very divided on how they feel uh, before they would have ran in your direction 
without any question. But after all the pain and the heartache that this relationship has brought on to them, they're really at a crossroads as well. So while you're trying to pick um, what path to go down and who to leave behind, they are also um, picking whether they want to give you another chance or move forward um, by themselves. With the Queen of Swords, um, you could be in reverse. You have to um, take the time to cut out anything that's standing in the way of this connection. Um, you've been avoiding it for a long time. Six of Cups, yeah. If you want to move towards um, who your soulmate is or who... Uh, who you feel you're meant to be with, you have to cut ties with, um, or not cut ties with, but cut out the blocks of, with people who are not supportive of your, your decision. So, um, yeah, this could be, um, like a mother figure, uh, could be the mother of your children, your mother, grandmother. There's somebody that is trying to block the connection that the two of you share. They're, they're trying to tell you not to um, follow your heart, telling you not to be with this person for some reason. You need to um, block that out and make decisions for yourself. You're an adult. So it's time to stand your ground on what it is that you actually want. Um, because if you don't, it's, it's only going to continue to, um, tear this down to the point where there's going to be nothing left to rebuild. So, um, this is something that happened in the past that you're, that you're currently, um, dealing with, with this tower. It was an emotional, um, shakeup in your life. Something happened that shook you to the core for a pentacles. Yeah, this was a, you had an emotional I don't want to say breakdown, but you had a lot of emotional um, turmoil going on within. But uh, with, I think this card clarified a card in a reading I just did for fire signs, but I'm not sure. You'll have to look. But um, with the tower that came down in the past, you um, you naturally in turn became very emotionally guarded. Um, you took a step back. You quit investing feelings. Um, emotions, love, ideas, thoughts, whatever, into the relationship that you are trying to work on because you feared being hurt again. So when um, when that happened, your person that you were trying to move towards got these hot and cold feelings like, well, does he want to be with me? Does he not want to be with me? Does she want to be with me? You know what I'm saying? Um, when really all you were trying to do is protect yourself from being hurt and protect anybody else from getting hurt by the destruction of this tower. Um, it's just this here. Yeah. You, Justice, um, in the overall energy of this, you are going to move towards who you're meant to be with. You are going to have the courage to move towards the one that you share love with and want an equal and balanced relationship. This has happened in the past. So it's time to open up your emotions. It's time to open up how you feel, open your mouth, speak your truth, and I'll let this person know how much they honestly mean to you because they're confused by your hot and cold uh, signals um, and they're not really sure what you want out of them. So um, Spirit's advice to you is to open up your emotions true love. Somebody else, I think fire sign just got this. You have to be connected with a fire sign. I swear to God, bottom of your deck is worth waiting for. So, um, do what it takes to, um, bring this relationship where it needs to be. Take the steps that you're guided to take to walk away from what needs to be walked away from to heal and find balance. And, um, and Finally, do what you want. Follow your heart. Not Don't worry about what everyone else thinks or feels. Um, go after the one that you share that magical connection with. Because life's too short to live on somebody else's watch. So, all right, Earth Signs. I hope you guys have a beautiful Wednesday. I thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Go.